is go to Google and find any design background that you would like of your choice. Now, I chose the camouflage when I did the guys template. So it's just going to be a quick little run through trying to show you what I did. Okay, so you need Silhouette Business Edition in order to do this. What I did was I went to my software. I come over here and I open my panel. And I find my image that I save from Google. I upload it, right? Make it big enough so I can see it. It's on the screen. Make sure your, your size is over here, whatever size your mat is. I got it a 12 by 24 because sometimes I might make it wide enough like to go across. So yeah, make sure you size it, whatever size your mat will be so you won't make it too big where it won't be able to cut and cricket. Okay, so all I did was find the image of my choice, which is this camouflage image here, right? So I go over here to the left-hand panel and it's an A here, which is the text over here and I find in word impact and I'm just going to type out something right and then I'm going to go up here and click the little arrow to stop the text from working go over here drag it as big as possible like I said this is a 12 by 24 mat idea so I know how far over to go I'll be okay so that's my wording this is my uh, pattern that I would like and I will drag this um, pattern across my image. I will make sure I highlight both. Come over here to my modify tool down on the right hand side, and I'm gonna push crop, which will give me this look here. Now, go up here to panels at the very top left hand corner, drop it down, find rhinestones, turn my image into a rhinestone. Simple as that. Now, the hard part. <laughs> You can do, um, you can release all, like all of it together. You see how it's all highlighted, but they all separated really. Each letter is separated already. But if you want to release the stones, you can do it like this. You can just release stones right here. You can do one letter at a time, or you can do all of them. I prefer to do one at a time, but I'm going to just try to do a couple of just for y'all can get an idea. Okay, so right now, as you can see, the stones are released, everything is highlighted. Now, it depends on how many colors you have, too. So if you just had two colors, I, I would suggest leaving it like this and then deselecting whatever ain't going to be whatever and then, you know, grouping whatever it is. So, but I got so many colors, I'm just going to do color at a time. So I'm going to click the background and make it, you know, separate. Grab the colors that it's going to be, whatever color it's going to be. So this is going to be like a beige color. You see, I grabbed that, draw a box across, whatever. Hold down my shelf, and I'm going to have to select every color. If you know another way, do that. I don't. All I know how to do is this right now. Not saying this is how you make a template, but I'm showing y'all how I made my guide template with the camouflage. So all I'm doing is clicking each die. I'll probably do one letter because it's so much, Lord. And this is not no easy hard progress. You just have to hold the shift button down, click, click each dot while holding the shift button, right? And all I'm doing is almost like tracing. So I have to get all these colors here as well. And then you can try to hold the shift button down and try to drag the box to get whatever colors you can. Go over here to your color panel on the right-hand side, and you'll just change the color, right? And I know I don't have a lot of green in this one, but if I wanted to, I could have put green in there. But I was trying to follow the pattern that it gave me. So you highlight what's going to be black. Make that. Hold up. Let me go back a step. I'm going too fast. I had did the video already, and it got messed up. So push the back button. See, everything's selected. Right click, group it together, right? All right. You're going to have to make all of the compound paths, but I would say wait until you get all of it together. So, this one here, you're going to highlight all the black, group the black together. Right click, group. Okay. The same with the brown. Just click. 
Select what you can. Hold down shift. Click each dot. It's a lot of work. Some people might know how to use that little section better than I do. But if you do, help me because I'm helping you. I don't know no other way right now. I just know how to drag a little bit in a little area. You know, and then. Okay. And change the color. Okay. Let me just make that a, um, a brown, too, just to keep me from working so hard. So I'm going to change the color, and I'm going to group that together. Push your arrow back if your stuff come deselected. So right-click, group it together. Okay, now that one's just not looking all that back Doritos, but we're still going to work it. So the next one is a part two, so we'll draw as much as we can to try to get as much of that green. So we're gonna hold the shift button down, deselect the ones that's not green or not gonna be green. It's a lot of work and a lot of y'all probably like, uh-uh, that's too much, but it's on you. If you want it, you gotta work for it. So not saying this is how they making them, but this is what I learned for myself the other day when it was live and I like it. I try to do it by the color match thing. It's still more work, so it's on you, whatever you want to do. Now, telling you, you have to do it like this. So, what you want to do is find that green, you'll change the color to green. Make sure you uh, leave it selected like that, and then you right click and group it. You want to group it before you start dragging more colors with it. Hold down the shift, you can go down here and get the rest of the green. Make sure that other green is highlighted so you can group these together with that green. I just, I don't know. You can move this out of the way when you get done, or you can just leave it there. So you right click, you'll group that. Then next, you'll do the beige. So you can just move that out of the way and grab what you can in the beige. Deselect what's not going to be beige. Don't do the browns and all that stuff. So if it's not going to be that color you need it to be, do not highlight it. So I left some green down here, but we'll make that beige. Let's just make it beige. Okay. You're going to right click and group that together. Okay. You can move that out the way. I just moved everything. Okay. What's going to be brown? You'll do that. Deselect what's not going to be brown, which is that black. And then select the rest of your brown. You can draw a box um, across it. Sometimes it grabs everything I don't want. So that's why I'm doing it like this. But, you know, so you want to right click, group it together. And then you got that. You can move that out of the way. And then you can do the rest. That's going to be black. All right? You can group that together. Okay. And then you just kind of put back what's that. Or oh, you don't have to move it. You can just. Do whatever. Whatever floats your boat. And see, you see I had that P and uh what was the P and stuff together? So and right now you just really can't see it, but it's like you you're responsible for the stone coloring. So that's pretty much how I did it. I'm not gonna keep going because there is a lot of work and I'm not gonna use this. And I've been working on templates all day, y'all. Just wanted to come on and share that real quick with somebody because I know people was asking how did I do it. It's just that simple. It ain't simple, but it, it's simple. You know what I'm saying? So it's on you if you really want it, you get it done. So you can play with the colors to see what it'll look like to you. But um, what the world did I put the black? <laughs> okay. So, yes, y'all make sure y'all have a blessed one. Y'all come in, like, and subscribe. 
Good night.